Let's talk about the Conqueror's better brother. I'm just gonna say that right now. I think I think we can all fit basically agree that the Thunderer. Now, the problem is I actually had a hard time picking this out because I almost wanted to put a trick version with Nelson versus not, but I also don't really feel that they change it. So what? what you know, uh, let's go Dosink. Where, where would you put Thunderer? Yeah. Uh, the Thunderer would again be a um, new shit. It, it's okay. um, not competitive. Certainly not meta. Um, would I say it is playable? Yes. I mean, everything is playable. Yeah. But uh, this conqueror. is more of a niche ship, <laughs> except for the Conqueror, yeah. But uh, I think, you know, the Thunder with its, you know, gimmick of those massive guns where, you know, it makes the IFHC still viable, I'd say it's a niche. Sorry. Sai, what you thinking? I would agree on this. I don't think I have much to add. It's, uh, it's, it's niche. I, I wouldn't put it above niche. And below niche would maybe be unfair. So I would, I would say niche. It's kind of the only, I'd say, really, like, you have to kite in this. You have to, you know, because you, you, you know, once again, you do have the issue of your tanking to your health, but you have the health to heal from, you know, the four heals that it brings out. It's a really good ship, but it's just, if you get pushed on too fast, it's just like St. Vincent burns through the health. Just, it's done. See, and, the guy who, who has the world record on the Thunder, uh, I was in that match. Um, he was using me as a meat shield. <laughs> you know, uh, I was playing the Vermont. So he was using me as a meat shield. And this is before the Thunder got buffed. He still holds the record for it. So. Jeez. You know, I, I do have to say, you guys are becoming CCs. Well, welcome to the club of getting sniped and getting focused. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy your stay. Ah. It will be very short and back to port. <laughs> it, it, it is horrible, uh, actually. It is horrible. Oh my god. Again, used to it. Uh, no, so I, 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 EU, so I'm, I'm used to it. No biggie. Well, yeah, I feel you on that one, but actually, on EU, we, we are a pretty huge group of fleet like we have four fleets so we know each other pretty good within that fleets yeah. and we have kind of like this thing not that we're not shooting at each other but we be careful that we are not losing too many points in the games so that it's fair for everybody but not too unfair for yourself no. my, my fleet mates when i'm playing against them in press account i main focus all the time they are like get him the fuck out and i was like Thanks. I'm trying to test new ships, guys. Thank you. It's it's lovely. It happens all the time on my streams. It happens all. I know how you feel. Yeah. I know how you feel. It's Parisian. Yeah, I put it up that high. Uh -huh. I have never hot in a game that I have ever like all those ships. I've gotten 20, 40, 50 k more Parisian. I get shut out every single. <laughs> so it's oh, brutal. Oh. Uh, I do have to. I do have to mention this. I do know someone on on NA though that will easily make Thunder or Meta. Like it's just. I don't know. I you got to get in their head. It's one person, but at the same time, I'm like I've seen it, and goddamn, they're good at it. Uh, but is it Rafi of Rage? Uh, actually, it's uh, mine, out of farm. So yeah, it's uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, he he yeah. just yeah, makes it's a Thunder. A farm player. It's Asia yeah, coming on to NA, which is it, most of the time those guys are repeating as crap on NA. So, but uh, that's a whole different other conversation of of Asia versus NA versus EU. <laughs> but uh, Vermont, Sai, I'm gonna give you this one. What are you thinking, base Vermont? Oh, damn. Um, I don't have Vermont on my personal account, and due to some issues, I couldn't test it on my press account so far. So, it's um. It's hard for me to make the start, but from what I saw from other people in the games, probably niche to competitive. I don't know. It's it, The long reload doesn't seem to be that much of an issue. Like for Colombo, if you know how to aim your, your shots. So every salvo is brutal. That's also what I've experienced against them on. Um, but it's just that you're extremely slow, extremely huge. Your armor isn't that good. So um, probably more niche than competitive, I guess. 
So yeah, I would probably put it in niche. All right. Don't think. What do you What do you feel? Do you have the Vermont on your main account? I have the Vermont. I got yeah. all the Babyloners done. Uh, one hour before they nerfed it. At that point, it was pure meta. Now, I'd say it is competitive, bordering on metal. It's still a magnificent ship. Yes, it's slow. Yes, it's big. Yes, it, it will take a beating. Yes, it has very slow reload. But those guns, when they hit, it makes everything worth it. Man, we're kind of all. I'm, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna agree with Niche on this. And the only thing is, you mentioned the two things: is the armor and the speed. Is I have had games in my Vermont where the game just runs away from me, and now I can't do jack squat, or the game time's too quick to me, and I don't, and my guns are thirty second launch, but they are the king of slap. Like you can even nuke Hollands with your AP. Like it's just they just absorb the damage and all of a sudden you're like Haha, i didn't have to switch um <laughs> but uh yeah vermont yeah. i just I, I i completely agree it's just unfortunately it's just that speed really kills it it really does especially when once again we do have a tricked vermont which i would definitely place in that competitive so let's quickly go to tricked vermont because i think we've all kind of said everything do you add olendorf to this or god forbid they actually add a leg mod that's half decent maybe maybe they give it a speed boost mod with you know, it goes 30 knots now. Um, just kidding. Please don't do that. Please don't do that. Yeah, okay. <laughs> that, that would be fair, yeah. <laughs> uh, I, mm -hmm. I see it. I see the tricked version where you have Ollendorf on there, which just absolutely makes this thing the the absolute. Like, I, I know the, the CC or the Chris Colombo has the King of Slap on DDs, the Ollendorf Vermont. I've been on the receiving end on a, on a Moscow and lost three fourths of my health. That thing hurts. I, I so, see, Odendorf, uh, Commander, get, gets APC as a plus, right? Uh, he has, uh, is it Crossing the T and... Is it APC as a plus? I think it might be. I think he's the only one or something like that. Odendorf is nuts. Because he increases your accuracy and increases your Citadel damage, which is just I like... I don't have Odendorf. I do <sighs> have the, that other one that came out with this LAN maxed out. And that was what my assumption of it tricked out. Um, you know, Vermont is. Um, personally, I've never had a, a game where I felt, you know, yes, the Vermont is true, but if you think three moves ahead, you know, you are able to disengage and, you know, get to the fight, whatever the situation is. You just have to think ahead. Um, one thing with the Vermont that uh, is counterintuitive and that you guys should try out is running it with a concealment build. The concealment build keeps on coming up, and Matt and I on the uh, server, Matt and I have a whole conversation thread on this. We're going to have a podcast about it eventually. Because <laughs> concealment meta, concealment it's, it's, coming, it's coming back up again. This it's, is amazing. What happens is, because you have a 29 second reload, you fire your guns, and for the last, you know, let's say 9 seconds or 10 seconds, because you take time and readjust your needs, you are in darkness again. So, you can pick and choose who to engage and when to engage. That's definitely a thing that we should test. And also, Val, get this... Get Get this man's account fixed up so we can test out the Vermont. Um. <laughs> it's 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 pretty bad. Like, you know, I I had a, a, a lot of talks with Valk, and he does an amazing job. But yeah. it's it's kind of he had to send I think 120 ships to me because they were missing. That was the first part. Then he had to send me silver and free XP, Yo. and it, I I got it in the message. But it didn't show up in my in my in my uh, oh. list above, so I don't have the silver or the free XP. And now I texted him, I think, two days ago, and he didn't respond. <laughs> Please yeah. do it. Well, yeah, no, I'll oh. I'll, I'll I'll push yeah. for you too. I, I had to do the exact same thing with Pig Bay as well. It's sometimes the press accounts. It's you you have to get the approval through CS in order to send it because of course you're sending off potentially hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of gold to something. 
and they don't really have a yeah. there's no difference actually between the label press on our account so it's actually i've i've talked to valk a lot about the mechanics of it because i'm a programmer too so i'm like why don't you guys have like a flag that just like gives us unlimited xp or something like that and he goes that could be turned on by modders and everything like that so it's it, it makes sense but it's it, it's they have to yeah. work around a system that uh isn't always perfect for the cc's and uh, I'll 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 make sure to bother Val. He he, uh, he never likes it when I message him. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I got an eighteen <laughs> mail from Wargaming on my press account yesterday for one gold. One, one gold. All you guys, one gold. One no, gold. Don't think you don't get anymore. Okay. Don't get anymore. Done. <laughs> All right. On to uh, you know I think I think you know we've talked about the ship a crap ton throughout this, so I think this should be a pretty quick one. I think the Yamato goes in need fixing, right? I'm just kidding. I'm 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 kidding. Please see that top, yeah? This, is, Thank this you. is the benchmark against every... against which every other ship is measured. At the end. So, how can you... this ship be anything except for meta? Absolutely. The Yamato is the king of sniping. It's just... it does everything you want it. Anything you want. Things, like, God forbid you <laughs> God forbid you put Yamamoto on it. And then it's all of a sudden, dear God, I hate whenever I get hit by that thing. Oh. Yeah. Anything that's bad? Pure yeah, pure metal. I do have to say this actually is a pretty nice tier maker, actually. Like realistically, like looking at it saying, hey, by the way, to a free player, there's plenty of ships. Ah, okay, no, there's only one. No, there's two. There's two in meta for a free ship. You got Colombo, Montana, even Trick Vermont or Trick Colombo. You might be at Clamor. I cannot talk right now. Kremlin, uh, you know, you can get those probably for free, probably. But overall, this is not a bad tier list for the current meta of tier 10. For mm -hmm. It's good. Yeah, yeah. tier 10 is quite balanced. Yeah. Okay. It is. That's not bad. And I know they know the Conqueror is bad. They buffed it once, so maybe they'll buff it again, you know? Have the hard Gumo situation. They don't like know how bad it is. still okay. <laughs> see, they don't know how bad it is. What I feel is they take their cues from the PC version a lot. And simply because of you know, the difference between the PC version and here, they don't understand how bad it is. I think also when you look at the data, I think you, you, we we talked about this a little bit on the the Conqueror. Is we were we almost all talked the Conqueror is actually one of our highest damage ships, so yeah. that might be skewing the data. But then you have to also see that not a lot of players play the Conqueror. I mean, in, in the hands of an average player, the Conqueror will be a forty thousand damage ship. In the hands of um, let's say three highs. Or Hoodlum or Rafi, yes, it'll be a hundred and ten thousand damage ship. But then, how many of those players are actually there in this game? Or also, how many of them are teaming up with people, which then give them the opportunity to actually get that hundred and ten damage ship? You know, because you know we do have teaming to think about. So it's it is there, but when I play for damage, I play so I. Don't stream up if I am out hunting damage. If I'm out hunting wins, yes, I'll team up. For damage, I prefer going so. What do, you, what, do you, what do you think on that side? Do you think do you agree with that statement? Yeah, I could. I could do that. You don't want to. You don't want to. You don't want to compete with any of your teammates. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> oh man. Alright. Uh that's it. I think there's anything else to say. Any are are we excited for any potential new line in the future? Is there any uh PC battleships you guys are excited for? Louisiana line, I think it's called. Hybrids. Yes. Quite a few. I mean most of them are not most of them are not battleships that I'm interested in, but yeah, like the Louisiana line could be nice and um oh to be honest, I'm quite interested about the additional Japanese BB line that's coming out, so... There is one? We'll see about that. What is that yeah. 
They they want to yeah, bring out one. I think. I think they want to bring out Japanese battle cruisers on PC. Oh, like Yoshino. At, at least, at least that's my last point of view. If they changed it, then screw me. But um, I you think know, hey, it's still I, that way. I think you're still fine. I said that the operation had precise aim. Okay, so I, I still have the biggest. <laughs> <laughs> no, so like, yeah, we, we, I can definitely agree on Louisiana. Oh, yeah, it could be interesting. I'm, I'm up for getting out of the Citadel crises as a cruiser main. <laughs> the Tuma. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> uh, but I think that is it for the Tier 10 Battleship Tier Maker of 2023. Uh, thank you both for joining me today. Thank you for inviting us. Yeah, no, I want to I wanna give you guys a yeah. shout out. Make sure to go give Sai and Don't Sink some love. I will have their links down in the comments section and also probably in the title as well. Go give them some love and check out their content. And uh, I think uh, any anything else you guys want to add in? Hello. Um, not for me. Uh, just like to, you know, I have uh, my channel, obviously, inside was his. We all have our different ways of playing this game. Uh, we all have uh, different uh, ways of watching those videos. Check it out and please let me know in comments how I can improve as uh, you know, a newbie streamer, newbie video maker. And obviously, as a player, I'm not the best, never pretending to be, I just have fun things. Oh, yeah. We all have room for improvement, and that's the key thing. And you know, uh, looking forward to talking to everyone in the comment section down below on where you would have put these battleships in your own tier maker. Once again, that link will be in the description down below. Hopefully you all had a fun time. And don't forget to like and subscribe to every one of our channels. Help build the community that much better. Have a good one, everyone. Peace.